Hello, my fellow comic book collectors. It's Alan, the Comic Collector Geek. And this is part 13 of this unboxing. And it's going to be my Heritage Auction wins. I, I have two bundles from Heritage Auctions. And um, there should be some pretty cool books in here. Let's, let's get right into it. Open them up. Um, what I do with my Heritage Auctions is I send the, get my, them to send all the books at once. And I think there's actually some raw books. I actually thought it was all slabs, but I think these are raw. The first bundle is all raw books. So there should be a few in here. Oh yeah, lots of raw books. So we're going to actually start out with some really good ones. Let me just open this up a bit. They packaged it really, really well. I actually don't really like to buy raw books from Heritage, <laughs> not to complain too much about Heritage, but I've had some times where Heritage kind of overgraded the books, so I'm a little bit hesitant about buying raw books from Heritage, but sometimes uh, you don't get much choice in terms of these books you just don't see that often. And this is this first one is that kind of situation where you just didn't see it very often, and I really want to get a copy of it. Um, so this is, um, what is it? Uh, feature Comics number 30. So Feature Comics number 30. And this is actually the first cover appearance of Dollman. <laughs> uh, I, I like Dollman. Uh, he's actually the... the his series is where Torchy, another character that I like, made her first appearance. And I just really liked uh, Dollman. I think he's kind of a cool character, this little guy, <laughs> basically. Kind of a, a before Ant-Man and all those ones, there was Dollman. So I really like Dollman. Um, you know, just this little guy that can do big things. So uh, superhuman strength, basically. Um, so stop thief, you can't escape the doll man. So yeah. So yeah, so that's the first one. So that's the first cover appearance of Doll Man. And this next one is just a I thought it was a cool book. I got it for a really really good price. Um it was like less than a hundred dollars. Um so this is Murder Incorporated, uh number two from nineteen forty eight. It's a Fox Features Syndicate. Uh, I forgot who did the cover. Let's see, does it have anyone? No, it doesn't mention. But I just thought it was a nice little bit of lingerie uh, thing going on there. But I thought this was really funny. Dressed to kill, and the guy's like stabbed in the, in the chest. So it's a really uh, cool cover, I thought. And um, it has three complete crime stories and illustrated in full color. Living proof that crime never pays. I saw it looked nice. You can see that's a low grade just because it's got tape all along that side. But still, it presents reasonably nice. It's graded at a two. So. Okay, this next one was a lot of comics. Like a, a lot. Like uh, we're usually uh, on Heritage, if you can buy lots, and uh, <laughs> I mean, not many. I mean, not many books, but a lot of comics. Uh, why do we invent these words in English that have double meanings? Okay, so lot. <laughs> this is a lot where it's two books in the, you know, lot. Um, and, um, you know, when you can buy those lots, it's actually a good way to buy comics because generally I find the prices are like fairly low per comic. Uh, generally, people prefer to buy the comic that they're looking for rather than one comic that might be mixed in with 30 others. Uh, so sometimes you can pick up really good deals on lots. Um, so this is Web of Evil. This was a Web of Evil lot. Um, and yeah, I think it paid $100 for the, for the set of books. And I figured, hey, that's a reasonable price. Uh, this is Web of Evil from March of... Um, oh, sorry, March... And it's number 12. So Web of Evil number 12. And so that was a, you know, kind of a cool cover. And this one kind of reminded me of the Scarecrow. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Web of Evil uh, number 13. I have a few Web of Evils in my collection. Not many, but a few. 
Uh, and both of these had nice good girl art elements to them as well, so I thought it was interesting. So the Ghoul of, of Ghost Swamp. So kind of look like a, um, a scarecrow a bit. So yeah, just thought it was interesting. So for the price, I thought it was a good deal. This one is interesting. They put a big sticker on it. One sec here, see if I can remove this annoying sticker. Oh, why do they do this? <laughs> One sec here. Uh, there's a big sticker on the front, so you can't really see the comic. And the comic's raw underneath, so I have to pull off the thing. Ugh, why do they do this? All right, so I removed the sticker. It said, fragile, handle with care. Of course, the sticker does more damage than anything else. Okay. All right, well, so, <laughs> jeez. I'm trying to remove the remaining little bits of the sticker. It's like so annoying. Why do they do that? Like, why would you put a sticker right on the front of the cover? Not on the cover, but on the, on the, the bag. Okay, well, I'll take it out maybe and show you properly. Uh, this is, um, this magazine is haunted. And I'll take it out so you can see it a bit better. So it's a nice presenting one. Uh, this is is, and this is interesting because it must have been a complimentary one because somebody <laughs> there's a big stamp on it, complimentary. Um, so this is magazine is haunted number two, and it's just a really cool pre-code horror comic. And uh, since it's open, let's take a look inside. Down with crime on the back. It's actually really like the page quality is quite good. It's like some military like uh, stories going on inside. Some Nazi stuff. Some maybe zombie Nazis or something. I'm not sure what's going on there. But <laughs> okay, and some ghouls. So lots of fun stuff going on inside. That's, uh, this magazine is haunted, number two. Kind of wish they didn't do this to the case, but I will. I got it for a good price, too. A lot of these were, like, uh, lately on Heritage, I'm not really bidding to win, in a way. <laughs> when I bid, I bid kind of low. I, I bid um, kind of lowball prices. And if I win, I win. If I don't, I'm, I'm still fine. Uh... You know, I, I bid on cool stuff, but um, I don't really bid aggressively. And so if I can, basically I'm just trying to win books <laughs> for a good price. Uh, so it was listed at 200, but I actually got it cheaper than that. So, so this magazine is haunted number two. Okay, this next one actually is a really cool cover. And uh, it's, uh, what is it? Spellbound number... Four. Spellbound has some really great Alex um, Toth art. I believe this is Alex Toth as well. Um, does it actually say? Or sorry, not Alex Toth. What am I thinking? Russ Heath. <laughs> sorry. Forget forget the Alex Toth. Russ Heath. Russ Heath covers. Yes, Russ Heath. I was just, yeah. <laughs> I totally messed up there. Um, but yeah, Russ Heath. And there are really some really great ones in the Spellbound one uh, series. But this one I thought was really great. You know, she's basically, her head is on her lap. Um, and uh, come in, dear. I've been expecting you. Just a really cool pre-code horror, you know, setup here. On sale every month. So yeah, Spellbound. So this would be from, this is... Atlas, which is one of the Marvel um, uh, imprints, or and um, it was where they put all their horror titles. Okay, this last book is actually a pretty major uh, book um, that I always see go for crazy prices, but I always liked it, and um, I finally won it, so I was quite happy. Uh, this is Spitfire. And it's, I forgot what issue number, it's like really high number, uh, 133. 
uh, but it's just a really great cover. <laughs> it's like this this girl, um, and uh, I think she's going up against some Nazis or something. And um, just a really classic good girl art cover. Um, always expensive, though. This one is crazy expensive. Um, but I got it for a great deal, so I was quite happy. So, um, and I guess Ryan from Automatic Comics, he, when I posted it up on Instagram, I always post these things up early on Instagram. And he said, oh, I was bidding on that too. And <laughs> he was annoyed that I won. So it was kind of funny. So a um, little shout out to Ryan there. Uh, but um, yeah, so um, very cool book. I've been trying to get that one for a while. It always goes for really high prices. So I got it for a little less than, uh, like, I think about almost half what it normally would go for. So I was quite happy about it. Okay. And we've got three more slabs. Oh, and there's some big ones. I actually got some major wins. As I said, I was bidding based on... <laughs> Not really trying to win, not aggressive bids, but I got some pretty major books as are still, even with that. Now this first one I actually did bid aggressively because I really love this book. <laughs> I actually I always liked this cover. I always thought it was cool. And I like the series as well. I've been trying to this is one that I'd love to have a complete run of, this series. Um let's take it out of the plastic. So this is Crimes by Women. And it's just a great series. Lots of great good girl art. Just crazy covers as well. And this one I really liked. I always thought this was a really cool cover. And um, you got basically this girl. She's kind of showing her leg. And she's luring the men in. She's got, she's got her guns <laughs> all ready to, to, shoot the, to shoot the guys. Um, yeah, she's like ready to shoot the guy with, with her gun there. And... Um, yeah, it's just a great one. So this is uh, from 1949, and it's 2.5. It's a lower grade, but um, just a, it presents really, really sharply. And the interesting thing about this was um, when I was at the uh, uh, Ottawa uh, Capital Comic Convention, I met the guy that actually sold this book, and I actually had interviewed him on my channel. And uh, basically, he sold his Crimes by Women collection. And I was wondering, like, why are all these crimes by women that when this auction happened, there was just like the complete run of crimes by women. And I tried bidding on all of them, but I didn't, it, the prices went crazy. Um, so I was talking to him and he basically, he had sold his collection uh, because he wanted to buy a house. He's moved to Ottawa. So <laughs> I thought that was interesting. And he's buying a house with his crimes by women collection. Well, you know, at least a down payment and not quite buying the house, but, um, but, uh, he's using it to buy, uh, get the down payment for a house. And it's a great way to convert your comics into a house. Uh, that's pretty amazing. I mean, I remember back in the day, people would brag, Oh, I, I got a car with my comics. That was, that was a big deal. Well, getting a house, that's the next level. So that just shows you how popular these crimes by women are. Um, so yeah, just a great book. I really love this one. I just like the, <laughs> the the whole sexy leg thing going on there. I think it's fun. Okay, two more to show. Uh, let me just put that back. Okay, this next one. I was shocked, actually, when I won this. Because I really put a lowball offer in. Not offer, but bid, I should say. Lowball bid. And I didn't expect to win because I think it was like $300 or something like that which was maybe a third of what the previous sale was. So I thought, oh, there's no way I can win this one. But then I won. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll, I'll accept that. Um, and it's just a really cool fighting yank and a high grade too, like a 6.0. It's a really solid grade for this book. Um, and I just thought it was a really cool one. You got um, this weird, evil, mad scientist guy fighting yank, punching him in the face. and the bam <laughs> you know mark there and then you got another evil scientist over here and you got the girl in the red dress of course in bondage you got another evil mad scientist dude up here and another one over here just so much going on on this cover and it's an alex schomburg cover 
It's just a really cool one. Uh, the thing I like about that uh, with um, Alex Schomburg is he'll label things uh, and you got like a death ray being labeled and like all this stuff, stuff like, uh, what does it say? Test number five. What does it say? Voltage, amperature, frequency. And it just like has all the like little things that, you know, little scientific things so that, you know, they know what they're going to zap the girl with. So it's just a, I just think it's a really cool cover. Um, and just, I thought it was <laughs> such a steal. So, um, and again, nice high grades. So this is from 1946. It's a bondage cover, Alex Schomburg cover. And it's from Nidor public, uh, Publications. Okay. So the next one, and this last one, it's not necessarily a big book, but I thought it was a kind of interesting looking one. Um, I think it's Wally Wood that did the cover. I'm not 100% sure, but it's My Secret Romance. And it's just a really interesting uh, cover. I always like these ones where you got um, like the shadow, like some shadowy figure. Like I showed earlier in a previous unboxing, one where there's the, the wallpaper and the, the hand... Uh, Kind of going after the girl uh on like um you know in in the shadow and i like these suggestive shadows but this one is especially interesting because not only is it a shadow <laughs> which is you know you can see like you can see the bricks and stuff it is a shadow but the shadow is smoking i don't get that <laughs> well, how would that work so i just it's a really interesting cover for that reason i think somebody made a mistake there but, uh, yeah, um, so yeah, so it's Wally Wood Art, last issue, Fox Featured Syndicate from 1950. So yeah, just a really cool one. Um, yeah, I don't know. So those are uh, my Heritage wins. I hope you enjoyed them. Um, there were some pretty, pretty cool books, I thought. I was quite happy with them. Uh, and um, thanks for watching. The next episode will be the finale. Uh, there should be some pretty good books in it. I have no idea what's left and <laughs> what I haven't shown yet, but we'll see. And that will be in the finale. So um, again, thanks for watching. Bye for now.